what I've done now is I've created some digital signage on my own. What I recommend to anyone doing demonstrations is, is if you know you're doing a demo with a specific end user, I like to go to their, uh, their website and download or copy some of the photographs on their website, their logos, um, anything of that nature. I'll go to their website and take a look at some of the installations they may have done, uh, some of the information about the company. Um, you do your homework, you got a better chance of getting your... It, it, it's, it's certainly more flattering when an end user sees that you've already taken the time to create some content for them to see so that they know what they can expect, what, what the possibilities are for them. So um, with that, let's create some digital signage. Now what I've done is I've opened up the AMX Composer and the passwords to get in, again, factory preset is administrator and password is admin. That takes a bit of time for the software to load. My PC is a little bit older, so it the processor is going to chug a bit. Now, first thing that comes up is the main menu for AMX Inspired Signage Composer. First thing to note, the Inspired Signage Player is listed there. It tells me that there are no, no files and it says that I have connected to the machine. If my IP address is wrong, if in fact if the box has got, if my software has the wrong IP address for that box, you'll get a red light in this area and it'll say no connection with the host. I'll show you how to set that up. And you basically go into the post office section of the software, you configure a destination, click the inspired signage player that you're working with, and here is that IP address that we talked about earlier, the one that I asked you to note and write down. And it was 192.168.103.22. Some of the things that I bring up to dealers and potential end users, as far as the software is concerned, we have the capability to manage user groups. So in other words, I can, I can create an administrator's role and up to three user roles. So if I want to, I can say, okay, Henry, you don't have, you only have access to, you know, the ticker. For announcements. In your case, I may give you access to the main screen. I'm the administrator, I can change the signage any way I want. And an application for this is that you may have a corporate environment whereby you want the receptionist to make changes to the welcome section of your digital signage. I also have the capability to refine the user roles, and this is where I can add destinations, allow them access to destinations. I can uh, configure playlists. I can, give them the act I can give each user access to any part of that digital signage application. In Template Manager, it allows you to import templates from, we now have two packages. We have a corporate pack and we have a educational pre-pack. Again, one targeted to the educational marketplace. In Canada, that usually means, um, you know, colleges and universities. We don't see too much digital signage in high schools uh, and in grade schools. The, the, the budget's not there. Um, I can edit the templates that we provide. And as, as it is now, we offer two packages, corporate and educational. Can you create your own templates? You can. You cannot create your own template package you can create and edit your own items. What we have is a template. This template is provided in the Inspired to Go application in three ways. One, and the most popular that I've come across, is a four screen split. 
main area, sidebar, bottom bar, and ticker. I can also create the same content in a full window, just highlighting the main area. I can also do a main area with ticker. Okay. Okay. But that's the way they come, both in the corporate pack and in the um, and in the educational pack.